वट इज द यूज ऑफ यील्ड की वर्ड इन शी शार्प ओके टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेट्स हैव ए सिनेरियो सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट ए मैथड वेयर इफ वी पास नंबर टेन देन डैट मैथड विल टेक टेन एज द इनपुट एंड देन गिवस जीरो टू फोर सिक्स एट एज आउटपुट बेसिकली ऑल द इवन नंबर ओके द रिक्वायरमेंट इज क्लियर नाउ डैट मैथड विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस अप टू विच इज टेन विल बी पास्ट then we will declare a numbers list to store all the even numbers then we will run the for loop to get one by one all even numbers up to 10 and we keep adding these numbers to the numbers list okay and finally when the loop is completed then we will return the numbers list from where we are calling this get even numbers method okay now we will calling we are calling this get even number methods from this main method like this here okay first we are getting the values in the list get even numbers and then we are printing the numbers with the help of for, for each loop one by one now i enumerable can be used as the, as the alternative of list here now if we run this code the output will something be like this why because first get even numbers method will be called here when the loop is executing the print statement will print uh, printed one by one right finally the numbers will be returned in the main method and assigned to the get even numbers list right now when we reach here then we are iterating all the even numbers and printing them like this all right so this is the normal approach and the common approach nothing fancy here most of us will do like this only but now is the twist and the use of the yield keyword comes here now listen carefully this code is exactly the same no difference see here the get even numbers method have some interesting change first here we will not use this numbers list and then we will not add the numbers to the list and we will not return the final list also so all this is commented and instead i used yield return i statement here what is this yield keyword will do as soon as it will get the first one even number then it will immediately send this back to the calling method okay inside the main method where is the calling method here inside the main method and this get even numbers will get the first even number then this for each which is not required because the list have only one number but the first even number will be printed let me show you the output this time then you will finally get it okay so like this here first zero is printed then the execution will go back to the for loop and then it will print this print statement so now again the loop will execute and next even number 2 will get printed and this yield will send it back to the like uh, calling method and then it will uh, print the two sorry print the two uh, here and then it will go back and then print the print statement so basically this is the one of the use of the yield keyword this will basically improve the efficiency because you are not waiting for the list to first store all the even numbers and then you are sending them to the calling method and printing them one by one instead yield keyword will help you in doing continuous programming you are continuously getting the results and then you can do the further operations on them so this is the story of yield keyword now the simplest and easier de easiest definition to remember for the yield keyword is the yield keyword will, will act as an iterator blocker and generate or return values okay see yield keyword will here in the program will block the for loop and return the values back to the calling method all right we have done it i think now you have understand what is the yield keyword for how it will make the difference in your programming so this is it this is the answer of the yield keyword